After verifying the patient's identity using at least two identifiers, such as first name, last name, and date of birth, place your patient in a supine position with their arms above the head. For the patient's comfort, place a pillow or an incline plane under the patient's head. You can also place a leg elevation pillow under the patient's knees. Before continuing, prepare an injector with iodinated contrast media with a concentration of 300 milligrams per milliliter. In all cases, refer to your department's injection protocols. This exam will require an intravenous infusion. Center the internal axial plane laser light on the appropriate landmark. Here we use the xiphoid process of the sternum. Make sure that the lateral laser light is set at a mid-thickness of the trunk and that the longitudinal laser light is placed on the median sagittal plane. Remember to close the doors of the examination room and perform proper hand hygiene, such as the use of a rub with alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Select your patient from the work list and then click Patient Selection. Verify that the pre-filled information is correct and fill in the patient's weight and height. Finally, choose the appropriate protocol. Check that the patient's position on the table matches with the one indicated. Note that the patient's orientation is feet first. After verifying the scan parameters, click Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and launch the acquisition when the buttons flash. Click on Next Series. For the first acquisition of the abdomen without injection, position your slices box to cover the entire abdomen from above the diaphragm to the iliac crest on the AP scalp view. On the lateral scalp view, place the slices box at the mid thickness of the patient. Verify the consistency of acquisition parameters which are often pre-configured. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guidelines values. Check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of the abdomen CT, there should be at least one reconstruction with a smooth filter for the analysis of organs. Next, click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and proceed the acquisition when the buttons flash. Verify the absence of patient motion on that acquisition. Click on Next Series. For the second acquisition of the abdomen and pelvis, with injection at the portal phase acquisition, Position your slices box to cover the whole abdomen and pelvis from above the diaphragm to the inferior border of the ischial tuberosities on the AP scalp view. On the lateral scalp view, place the slices box at the mid thickness of the patient. Note that in order to obtain imaging at the portal phase, a delay should be added to the start of the scan. Approximately 60 to 70 seconds would be appropriate. Verify the consistency of acquisition parameters, which are often pre-configured. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of the abdomen CT, there should be at least one reconstruction with a smooth filter for the analysis of organs. Before continuing, program the injector with the appropriate volume of contrast. Here we have 95 milliliters and a flow rate of two milliliters per second. Depending on the venous access, the best way is to keep the injection rate of three milliliters per second or less. Click on confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and proceed to acquisition when the buttons flash.
Verify the absence of patient motion on the acquisition. Ensure that all anatomical structures are covered and that the appropriate enhancement has occurred. After clicking End Examination, you can do multi-planner reconstructions according to the planes required by the radiologist. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell them they may get dressed. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.